Welcome back to another video. So we're going to get straight into this one because it's a long one. I'm just going to use some tips today and do a little gel polish set. So I've pulled out green, red and white perfect collection from Madame Glam. And this brown is called We Were On A Break. And I've pulled out Hibiscus as well. Beautiful nude pink. I love it. So that's what colours I am going to be using. So I've stuck a bit of green on my palette. So I'm using the long fine liner from Madame Glam. I love this little brush. It's brilliant for lines and detail. I use it through this whole set today. It's um, an all rounder. I can't think of the word. <laughs> it's versatile. It's really versatile. Right, so I've painted a, a diagonal, the bottom half of this nail in green. And I'm going to do the same on the nail on the other side. So this is a thumb. And essentially, I'm going to do the same on the pinky. That's gone in the lamp for 30 seconds. And this middle nail, that's going to have a full coat of green. I have sped this up one more than I normally do, guys, because, yeah, it's a long piddledy set. So it is sped up slightly more. So this would be the pointer finger. I'm going to do a nail bed, quite a long one. I'm just getting it roughly where I want it to be with the brush out the bottle. And then I'll use that little skinny brush and just tidy it up a bit. I do give this a second coat. Everything gets a second coat. But I do all the second coats off camera, guys. So now, using the brown, we were on a break, I'm going to paint, this nail is going to be a full cover of the brown, and then the nail bed that I've just done, I'm going to paint the free edge of that nail bed in this same brown as well. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on this set today, guys. I've not done stamping for ages. I love it. It's just a lot of clean up, isn't it, with stamping. It gets quite messy, and I don't like messy. <laughs> So that's going to get stuck in the lamp for 30 seconds as well. So now on the top part of these slice, slice nails, we'll call them slice nails. I'm going to do them in the perfect white. So again, I'm just marking out with my detailer brush and then I'll use the brush out the bottle to do the rest of it. I love using this white, it's like paint isn't it, it is so creamy and opaque, it's really good fun to use when there's no fluff in it, <laughs> they're going to get a 30 second cure as well. So this is the stamping plate I've pulled out to use, I'm going to use this one right in the middle, make sure you pull this blue film off guys before you try and stamp, <laughs> I think this is a born pretty plate, I'm not sure. So I am using She Modern's Black Sticky Stamping Polish. I'm completely covering this image because I did already try to stamp it and it just wasn't picking up. So I had to just completely cover it with the, the polish and it worked fine. I had a couple of little gaps, but you'll see in a minute. I just use a detailer brush and fill them in. So this is a small image, so I've had to do it in two and kind of match it up. So I'm just going to stamp that one on the bottom half, just roll it roll it from side to side make sure you've completely covered them sides i was going to patch it up and i thought no don't even try <laughs> so i'm going to do exactly the same again and stamp the top off so this half i had to really line it up and get it get it to match I did a really good job actually it matched up perfect <laughs> and now for the messy part I needed to get all that black off the white this took me ages but luckily for you I've edited it all out I'm just using a cleanup brush and some acetone uh, yeah just get all that black off the white part where I don't want it and now I'm using the same stamping polish and a tiny tiny brush just to fill in a couple of them little gaps that's missed and I'm going to do the same on the other slice nail. I'll do that off camera. I will just let you watch now, guys. This middle nail is going to be 
I'm going to completely cover the, the middle nail in a couple of these images. So I'm going to just glide, I want these this stamping, this, these images sealed in so I don't smudge them. When you're top coating over stamped images, just glide your top coat over really gently, really softly. Try not to drag it so you don't smudge your image. Just, yeah, very gently, very smoothly glide it over. <laughs> so they've had a top coat and now I'm going to matte top coat them. Don't ever matte top coat over stamped images guys because it will smudge them. Use normal top coat, then do what I've done and go in with your matte top coat. So, for all the iddledy piddledy bits now, I'm using Madame Glam's white gel paint. And I'm just going to separate the green from the white. Um, I'm not curing any of this yet. I'm going to be sprinkling clear acrylic into this. And I'm just going to do a little bit of a sweater pattern on the top of these two nails. I'll just show you doing this one nail. And I'm going to sprinkle the clear acrylic into that. I'm just going to cure that and then I'll do the sweater part and cure that. Just do little bits as you go so if you make a mistake you don't have to wipe it all off. So whilst I've got the white out, I thought I'd go on to this nail. So I'm just going to put a white frame border around that smile line. And I'm going to do some drippy drips on this. I wanted it to be like a Christmas pudding nail. So to do my drips, I use a dotting tool. And I just do some little dots where I want them drips to be. And then using that skinny brush, just pull them dots straight up, straight up in a straight line. And then you'll, I'm just going to round them all off now. Just so they look like they're dripped. Like just round them off at the top, blend them in. And then round them off at the bottom, blend them in. Just to make them look more like drips. Yeah. <laughs> right, and same again on this nail. This is going to have drips, but these are coming down from the top of this nail. This Madame Glam gel paint, it cures glossy. So you don't have to top coat it or anything. And I love that because you can have these glossy drips on a matte background and you don't have to mess about trying to top coat over them little drips and stuff. So I absolutely love these gel paints for that. Anyway, I'll let you watch for a sec. Right, back to these green nails now. I'm going to do snowflakes on these nails. But these are quite detailed snowflakes. So I'm starting out, I'm going to do like half a star. Yeah, like you would do if you were doing half a star, quarter of a star kind of thing. And I'm going to, I've put little dots in between them sections. And I'm just going to join these little lines up to them dots. Can you see what I'm doing? I can't explain it. I'm so sorry. I hate explaining what I'm doing. I'm just making little lines. <laughs> Guys, I'm just going to let you watch for a sec. I'm going to do this on this nail. And I'm going to do a full snowflake on the full nail. Yeah, I'll just let you watch.
so lastly I'm going to do a couple of holly leaves I'm just going to show you doing one so I've just done a little line with my dotting tool and I'm just going <laughs> to here we go trying to explain things I'm just doing little flicky out bits because holly leaves they flick out don't they so I'm just doing two little flicky out bits on each side like that yeah and I'm not going to cure these leaves I'm going to sprinkle some glitter in them So this fine green metallic is from Charlie's Nail Art, perfect, that's just going to get sprinkled into that wet gel paint and cured for 30 seconds and guys I'm just going to stick some little gems in, in the middle of these snowflakes and I've also got some little teeny weeny red caviar beads, look at them, ah, they're so cute, perfect, they're just going to go on this holly leaf cure them oh, aren't they cute looks like real holly <laughs> how nice are they guys this i think is and it's not even pink but i think this is my favorite christmas set from this year so far i really really like them a lot let me know what you think guys anyway that is it for today please remember to give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and hopefully i'll see you all in my next one take care bye